Hey everybody, got another video here for you. This is uh, another build. Um, I'm running a new setup here on the camera. Got a got the phone taped to a to a guitar stand. Makes a little camera tripod kind of thing. We'll see how it goes here. So this is the X7 version 2.0. It's a no head tail tuner with the minimalist body and the twin bars. It's actually um, version two. Version one was a fail. This is version one up here. And the idea was that the body pivoted or the tail piece on it pivoted. The bridge sat right here and all this pivoted like a trim on a strat kind of a thing but it didn't work out too much friction here and stuff so until i until i figure out something better i think in general the idea there is is the less you move the better as far as like a trim goes the less of the less of the fewer the the lower the mass of the parts of the guitar that you have to move around in order to get your trim effect the better I suspect is going to be key to it which means that obviously what you want is you want like a bridge that'll go kind of like this with the trim bar on it maybe double lid with springs and and hinged at the bottom so and rollers at the top kind of a thing might have to fab one up and try it out but anyway that's for another day and another build So, this thing here, X720, I was like, okay, yeah, that body's a bust. Let's uh, redo it in a kind of a vintage kind of a vibe. So, basically, I had the neck, which meant it was going to be a, a no head of some sort. So, I made it a tail tuner. This is basically the same kind of guitar as the X6, but done with a vintage rod. So, we've got, you take a... You know, eBay, Super Strat neck, got a bunch of them. This isn't easy to do, a bunch of them over there. And uh, I think they're going, you can get them now, they're up to about 50 bucks, something like that, on eBay these days. But hey, inflation, it sucks. That's what we get for monetary stimulus, man. You know, time to pay the piper, so to speak. That's why fiscal conservatism is really, you want slow, steady growth. But anyway, enough of economics. So, right, so, so this thing was, uh, was already, um, no head. And let's see, it's got zero nut, 24 fret eBay, been cut off, drilled for uh, string through on the back. Come here, strap. There you go, string through on the back. Notice they're not straight. Yeah, now I have a, if I can get this in, you know, now I have a drill press and the next one will hopefully be a little straighter but so okay yeah eBay neck modified to go to go no head then uh, for the pickup I decided to go with a filtron in order to get that kind of vintage vibe and sound to it and um, as you can see it's got a full floating bridge archtop acoustic style uh, the tuners are banjo type and they've been modified so that uh, they only take one screw a piece get it up here in the light there we go they take one screw a piece and they've been modified the other the tab for the other side with the other screw has been cut off and and ground down and sanded and stuff to make them all smooth and round 
so that you can fit them closer together and get nice straight string pull through. Yeah, this thing's got really nice string pull through and it's got great tone. Uh, you'll notice that the, it's got just the single pickup in the neck position. I've done a lot of builds that were, you know, shredder type stuff with just a single humbucker or whatever. Yeah, pretty much a humbucker. At the bridge position, I decided I was going to do, since it was going to be vintage, I'd do something a little different. So I went with the Filtertron in the neck. It gives it a, a little mellower tone, but it's still a really, really nice guitar. Uh, the the open and long string design of the of the arch top type bridge and these long and these and these long trailing strings gives it a very kind of open sound. Plus, I think the the red oak the body's made of red oak that helps a bit too. So, as you can see, it's a very very simple guitar. You know, it's just the one pickup and the one jack and just a little bit of wiring and that's it. There's really not a whole lot to it. Dual strap locks, uh, faux leather, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, um, other than that, it's got, let's see, it's got the V-neck, it's got the... It's got the matching contoured heel going on. And this one also uses the, the new finishing method I just did a video on. All you do is just take a brush on poly and you wipe it on using a, um, a crumpled up piece of, I use crumpled up printer paper, but you can use, you know, like notebook paper or something. I don't, uh, you might want to use just plain white paper so that it doesn't get like color bleed from lines on the paper or anything like that, like notebook paper has. So, but yeah, you just, this was just a single coat, just put on not to wet and then excess was wiped off with, with more paper and then let it dry. And that's all it took, and it came up with a nice sheen and everything. So, yeah, I'm pleased with this with this finishing method. <coughs> and like I said, the guitar has a really nice tone to it. It sounds like a Viltertron, which is it's almost a humbucker, but not quite. Yeah, if you go and you listen to the, like sound samples or whatever. Like all the different pickups, I've seen everything now except for uh, Supertrons are expensive, and I have yet to get my hands on a on a Charlie Christian or a Horseshoe. Those are real expensive. But um, I've and minis and um, Firebirds, many humbuckers and Firebirds. I haven't tried any of those personally yet. But I've tried everything else, like lipsticks and and uh, gold uh, foil, gold foils, and and filtrons and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, basically, except for the lipstick, so far everything that I've come across falls somewhere between a between a humbucker and a and a single coil as far as like bass to treble and brightness and stuff like that goes so <coughs> this one falls somewhere in the middle perhaps a little closer to humbucker as I recall can't swear that though it's been shoot a number of weeks I probably filled, finished at least two or three builds since this one so, yeah, it's been a while since I played it, but, but anyway, yeah, this is, uh, this is the X720. Let's see, what else can I say about this? Red Oak. Can't say enough about Red Oak. Wonderful, wonderful material. A little slow on the cutting, a little slow on the drilling, but, I mean, it's like, the stuff looks great. Uh, other than the fact that it's, you know, hard and 
and then takes a while to cut and drill. Uh, it works great, and um, and it seems to have great tone and everything. So, yeah, I definitely give it two thumbs up. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, I do believe. That is the... Let's see if I can get it all on camera here. That is the X7 version 2.0. And I'll see you all in the next one.